Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So I need to apologize. These last few weeks I have not been my best and I have not shown up here for you on my channel. And for that, I am sorry. My content, my voice, and my connection with you guys is of the utmost importance to me. It is what I prioritize the most in my life. And so I am truly sorry if it has not felt that way the last couple of weeks, but I hope you trusted that as always, I would be back better than ever and that you wouldn't miss me for too long. So yeah, if you guys wanna hear what I've been up to these last couple of weeks, as well as some really exciting announcements about what's coming up in the future. Definitely keep on watching. My name is Samantha Lex. I post new videos every single week here on my channel. Well, from this point on, I'll be posting videos every single week here on my channel. So if you guys are not yet subscribed and you would like to be, go ahead and do that right now. I'll wait for you. Go ahead. Are you done? Thank you so much. Make sure to follow me over on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok to keep as up to date with me as possible, especially when I go on little hiatuses like this. I'm so sorry. I also have a Twitch channel that I play video games on every single week, as well as a Patreon where you guys can support the work that I do here on this channel. So yeah, special thank you to the patrons that I already have and who are already supporting me. And it's really helped me get to a more stable place. So thank you. But yeah, with no further ado, let's get right into today's video. Okay, guys, let's just get right into it because I have a lot of makeup to do. We've got lots to talk about, lots to get done today. So let's keep it moving, okay? First, I'm just gonna use a little, <laughs> I already have it on my finger, so I'm like trying not to hold it weird, but I'm gonna use the Milk Hydro Grip Primer. But like I said, I have so much that I wanna talk to you guys about today. I have been going through a lot of big changes in my life. So yeah, first of all, I'm so sorry that it's been kind of a minute since I've posted. I, I did just move. That was my biggest change that I've just gone through. So both physically and mentally, I'm trying to get my house in order. I'm gonna take the One Size Beauty Blurring Primer. This one is so dirty. I do have another one somewhere, but this one's not gone yet and I'm not wasting any of it. I like to put this one right on my pores because it really helps to blur them, obviously, being a blurring primer. But yeah, if you guys follow me over on Twitch, you would know that I moved back in the beginning of June. And all I'll say about that is that we're human, right? Sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we have to learn little life lessons. And I definitely learned mine this time around. That situation, it did not work out for me. It's my new apartment. The second I walked in when I was touring it, it felt so bright and so airy and so warm and cozy here. And I just feel so comfortable and full of peace here. Here, genuinely. I'm gonna keep interrupting my topics to show you guys what makeup product I'm using. This is the REM Beauty Foundation. This is like my third bottle of this foundation. I love it so much. It is the perfect amount of buildable coverage. Feels great on the skin. I don't know, I love supporting Miss Ariana, duh. I'm in shade Fair 6CN, so if you have the same skin tone as me. Also, don't look at this mirror. I got it as a gift back before Jeffree Star was racist, so I don't, I don't wanna hear about it. But I like to start out with just dotting it all over my face, and then I'll go in and blend it all out. into my new apartment on September 1st. So it's been a few weeks now and I'm finally starting to settle in. I have everything, pretty much everything set up. I still have a few more things that I need to get, you know, prepared, ready, done. But I'm just so, so happy here. I, I don't even know what else to say. I know it sounds so cheesy to say. I haven't felt this at peace like in my body in years. And it just feels really good to like start to get back to myself and where I know my mind should be, where I feel like my headspace should be, where it should belong, you know? I'm doing a little bit of contour. This is the Fenty Beauty Match Stick in shade Amber. And I like to take this back right through my little sideburn. I have been waxing this off recently, but I need to do it again. I feel like this just really helps the illusion by bringing it back all the way to your ear. I don't know, it just does. But yeah, that's not to say that, you know. I moved into a new beautiful apartment and all my life's problems went away. I've just been doing so great. I am doing great, don't I? Well, don't get, don't get me wrong, but it's not just moving to a new apartment or, you know, leaving situations that weren't good for me. I mean, we don't have to get too specific about anything because I do have some fun announcements that I want to make this video and I don't want to spoil them with, you know, sad talk, but the last couple of years have just been really fucking traumatic for me. Like really, really difficult being a trans creator, a trans advocate in a world that hates trans people, or at least in a society that is very vocal about their dislike or disapproval of trans people, or at least that's how it can feel when you are constantly surrounding yourself with that negativity, with that hate, with that criticism of a trans lifestyle. It can start to feel really, really drowning. And it doesn't matter how strong you are, you know, how confident you are in your own identity. That like builds up after a while, right? And if I'm being completely honest with you, it did take a toll on my mental health. I won't say that, <laughs> not that specific. I mean, let me clarify, you know, it wasn't those things and the hate that I got specifically that, you know, 
really affected my mental health. But when my mental health kind of deteriorated a little bit, and when I was kind of going through my own personal things, everything from the outside world in regards to the criticism of the trans community really started to affect me. And maybe in a future video or podcast, wink wink, we can talk about those things that really impacted me over the last couple of years. I don't want to get too into it today because I've got lots to talk about. I've got fun things that I want to talk about. We've got to move on. I will say uh, something that has helped me a lot has been therapy. I've been doing some pretty intensive trauma therapy and and really just working through all of the shit that I've been through and all of the, you know, stored trauma in my body. It's definitely a long journey and I'm definitely not done with it yet, but we're getting somewhere and I, I'm starting to feel like I'm finally breaking through, you know? I had done therapy in the past, you know, I had done years of therapy for my anxiety and then when I had figured out that I was trans, I switched to a gender therapist and did therapy for that and I kind of thought that I was fully equipped to handle my mental health stuff, but girl, I was not okay. I mean, and I say it all the time, you know, it's okay to go to therapy. It's okay to need help. It's okay to like see a professional for things that you don't know how to handle. But I wasn't listening to that for myself. You know, I thought that, you know, it's good for other people. But for me, like I'm, I'm just too in tune with my emotions. Like bitch, get a grip. I mean, to be fair, yes, some forms of therapy probably wouldn't be as beneficial for me because I have, like I said, done so much introspection on myself. And I've thought through all these things so much that like, I know where my wounds come from. I know where my attachment style comes from. I know all that kind of stuff. And at this point, it was really just working through it, you know, not identifying where it came from and kind of talking about it, but just working through the sensations that it created in my body. But yeah, to move on to happier topics. Speaking of changes, I got a new backdrop. <laughs> what do we think? It's got a little texture to it. This is the Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in shade Encourage. Love this stuff. I use it all the time. So pigmented. I've had this for like years too and it's still full to the brim. She's going strong. Hey. But yeah, what do you guys think of my backdrop? It's cute, right? It's got a little texture to it, a little swirly swirls. I mean, texture is just the best word I can say, but what do we think? What do we think? But yeah, you guys, I did drop a little hint, but yeah, you guys, I did. Oh, girl. It's giving Rudolph. I'm gonna take the same side that I did my foundation with on the sponge and just kind of go over this to mute it down a little. But yeah, I did kind of drop a little hint earlier in the video for what my announcement is. If you caught it, you're so smart, but let's get a little drum roll, can we? Because I have some big announcement that I want to announce to you right now, duh. I have decided, I have made the formal decision to start a podcast. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Yes, I have decided to start a podcast right here on the Samantha Lux channel where every single week I'm going to be uploading a podcast episode, duh, where we're gonna talk about trans things, of course, but way more than that. So much of the content that I do now is about trans things and I love it so much, but at the same time, I wanna share more of myself with you guys, you know? So in this podcast, there's gonna be a bunch of different topics. We're gonna have a trans news section where we're gonna talk about the most positive, happy, affirming trans news going on in the world right now. We're going to touch on pop culture things like best music out now, the best movies out now, the best shows out now, anything that you guys really want to talk about in terms of pop culture. I also want to get into some mental health conversations because these conversations around mental health are first of all so important. Second of all, they're so interesting to me. I think that our brain is such a powerful and intricate and interesting organ in our body and for the longest time I've always just loved studying it and chit-chatting about it. So that'll be a fun topic for us to talk about as well. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. Unfortunately, I can't tell you guys what it's called yet the title yet but comment down below with what you guys think it might be called because i'm sure you guys have some clues maybe maybe you don't i don't know the podcast will be available on spotify as well as over on apple music i believe and i'm hoping to have a really funny britney broski-esque vibe to it you know i've been loving the broski report have you guys watched the broski report at all me waits for your answer in dora style have you seen britney broski but I love her podcast. It just makes me so happy and I, I love listening to it. So I'm really hoping to give that kind of vibe, you know? So really much the vibe that you're just talking to your friend or having a nice little conversation with a bestie. That's the same thing. Okay, so I'm just setting this foundation with a little bit of powder. This is the One Size Beauty Translucent Powder. And I actually mix it with a little bit of the Revolution Translucent Powder because this one's a little bit brighter and I'm so pale. And I really try to set anywhere that my face creases. So my smile lines as well as underneath my eyes. I set that with this little, oh, it's another little one one size beauty little powder puff. And then I'll go in with a loose fluffy brush to kind of get the rest of my face. That doesn't need to be set as heavily. Oh my God, guess what else just happened, you guys? So I moved into my new apartment, right? And I got this whole like entertainment system set up over there. Guess what I set up and got to work on my TV, my Wii. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I thought that the day would never come because you know, Wii's have those little three prong, the red, yellow, white connector and new TVs have an HDMI connector. And I'm like, they're not compatible. They're never gonna do it. It's never gonna work. But then I found an adapter online for like $10. So I successfully got my weed to work. I did have to order a new little sensor bar, little thing that goes underneath the weed. 
because my dog ate mine when I was younger. But I got a new one for like $6 on Amazon and things are great. I'm having so much fun. I'm playing Wind Waker right now. The GameCube version, not even the HD version. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, duh. And it's been so much fun. Honestly, you guys, I haven't played that game since I was young, since I was a little boy. It's bringing up a lot of sensations for me, like good and bad. Some of them I'm like, oh my God, what am I feeling right now? Kind of like transports you back, you know? It kind of, it really does. It brings you back to where you were when you first played it, where you first heard the sounds, where you first experienced the game. And for me, girl, that was a confusing time. I think I was in fifth grade when I first played that game. I got the GameCube as a graduation present from my fifth grade graduation. My parents spoiled me so much. And my neighbor, Matt, got me Legend of Zelda, Wind Waker, and Super Smash Bros. And those are my first two video games and they really started my love for video games. I have to continue doing my makeup, hold on. I'm gonna add a little bit of highlighter in between my eyes and on my little high points of my cheeks. It's the Wicked collaboration with One Size Beauty. This thing does get really dirty, but it's fine. But yeah, those are the games that really started my love for video games. We used to play them for hours every single weekend. Literally, when I tell you guys, hours. My parents used to always have like their friends come over on Friday and they would bring their kids and my neighbor would come over as well. And we would sit in my family's dining room where they had like this old TV, you know, like the big box TVs that the back goes out like this far. We would sit in front of it, probably four feet away on a bench and just stare at the TV, playing our Super Smash Bros for hours on end. They'd come over probably 6 p.m., stay until midnight. We'd be playing the whole entire time, the entire time. They would leave, I would have a migraine girl but I would not leave that that bench you could not get me to get up and leave that bench honey it was super it wasn't even super smash bros brawl it was super smash bros melee if you guys know you know that was like the one of the oldest super smash bros I didn't play the OG smash bros I think that melee was the second one shit is crazy I want to try to find it I want to find my smash bros melee and play it on my Wii ah that'd be so cute sorry okay so I did my little highlight now I'm gonna go in with my bronzer if I can find it okay so I'm gonna take this little bronzer look how big this bitch is and this is not a contour, so you're not gonna mimic shadows with this. You're just gonna put it where the sun would hit. So I'm gonna put it like kind of on top of my cheeks, up here a little, maybe a little bit on the bridge of my nose. And I'm also gonna take this on an eyeshadow brush and just kind of do a little eyeshadowy look. I'm not gonna do too much eyeshadow today. I think I'm just gonna do a bronzer and then a little eyeliner and an eyelash because that's like my most natural looking makeup look. Actually, that's not true. Sometimes my go-to no makeup makeup look is like a little mascara, a little brow and a lip liner. That's my go-to no makeup makeup look. It's really cute. I won't lie. I'm about it. Oh my God, you guys, guess what I did last weekend or a couple weekends ago. I went to the HRC national dinner with my mom and we got to see Governor Tim Wall speak. It was so good. Honestly, it was such a magical night. We have dreamt of going to the HRC national dinner, me and my mom. It's like on our bucket list or her bucket list mostly, but you know, her bucket list is my bucket list. We had, she had dreamt of going to this HRC national dinner for so long, being the advocate and the ally for trans people with that she is she just she loves that kind of thing you know so when our friend invited us and was able to get us tickets to it we were so happy my mom was so happy in fact that she took it upon herself to design an entire dress for me to wear so i'll insert a little picture of the dress that i wore and on the back of it you can see it has this kind of script writing embroidered or you know sparkled onto it at the bottom it's written be there one to symbolize the importance of being that one supportive figure to a trans person or you know an lgbt person or non-binary person whoever really celebrating how impactful one person can be on a person's life and how much power you as a supportive friend can hold in that person's life. Above that is names of not everybody, but a bunch of people that hold meaning to me for my transition. So either they acted as a role model to me or they were there for me in the beginning of my transition or vice versa. You know, maybe I was a role model for them in their transition or I was their one, that I was the one for them. There were actually a few people at the dinner that were featured in the dress. I was able to, you know, show them and be like, look what you made on my dress because I love you so much. Everybody that was on the dress that I showed cried. It was so sweet. They were so like honored and that's exactly how they should feel, you know, because it is a fucking honor. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But they have meant so much to me throughout my transition and they've really, you know, changed my life. Growing up, I held so much internalized transphobia and meeting real life trans people in the beginning of my transition and throughout my transition has really helped me work through that. You know, it's easy to, it's really hard to maintain your internalized transphobia when you meet a trans person that is so amazing, you know? It's a little bit easier to do so when it's just 
you that you know, because for whatever reason, we love to be our own worst critics. I'm sure you guys are all very well aware of that. So being able to meet such fantastic people has just meant so much to me. And having a mom that is so dedicated to being that supportive person in my life, but also in so many other trans people's lives and to celebrating that we have the power to change people's lives. At the top of the dress is actually the name of our friend, Dahlia, who we lost to suicide. She was a really close friend of my mom's. We weren't able to save her. I feel really fortunate to be able to memorialize her in this small, little way and hopefully it can act as a memorial piece but also a warning that this life is fragile and that we need to love and support one another. Now I'm gonna do my little ache aside trick. I've done this once or twice before, on camera at least. I'm gonna take a nice cool tone gray brown shadow and see this little crease underneath my eye? This is called, or I don't know if this is called or the makeup is called ache aside, if that's how you pronounce it, I'm so sorry. Basically we're gonna be mimicking that shadow right there to kind of make the eye look more wide and kind of give more volume to that little fat pad underneath there. For some reason, it's very, very cute. It's very feminizing and it's just, I love it. I don't know if maybe because my eyes have more of a Asian shape to them or you know my Asian heritage just comes out with my eyes or something or with this makeup style but I love it girl and I'm gonna keep doing it I will say this is an Eastern Asian makeup style so yeah I gotta give credit where it's due these bitches know what they're doing and then sometimes if I'm feeling really you know up to it I'll take this little nude eyeliner I'm just gonna go right in between and then I'll make that little space pop even more Cute, right? I love it. Oh my God, I forgot to mention I got new hair. Well, not really. I did a little treatment on my hair. I don't think it'll stay like this once I wash it, but I did a little keratin treatment. So hopefully my hair won't be as frizzy because bitch, it's been so frizzy lately and I just can't deal with it. It's too much. It's just like never cute. Me like being a pick me like, my hair is just never cute. I'm just kidding. I'm actually hot. So I'm gonna do my eyeliner off camera and I'll be right back, okay? You know, here's my question. Do you guys have different makeup styles for like when you're in different moods? Cause I haven't been doing a winged eyeliner lately, right? And I had, I, for a while there, I wasn't doing it when I was like, <laughs> I feel like I was like doing kind of good in life, not like in life, but like mentally I was doing well. And then when my mental health like isn't doing well, for some reason my eyeliner gets bigger and bigger. Like I get like a bigger wing each time. I'm like, I'm really fucking sad I need a big wing. Does that happen to anybody else? Is that just like some weird thing that I do. I need to know. Okay, I did put on a little eyelash, obviously, and my little eyeliner. Um, oh my God, I forgot eyebrows. I'm just walking out here with no eyebrows. Another fun little announcement that I can tell you guys today is actually taking place over on Twitch. As you guys know, I am on the board of directors with GLAAD, which if you don't know, is the Gay and Lesbians Alliance Against Defamation. They do a lot of great work for the community, specifically around media representation. And if you guys know anything about my channel here on YouTube, I am all about media representation. I think that it is so, so vital to the overall acceptance of the trans community. And GLAAD's work is really trailblazing trans representation and making sure that the representation that is out there is the best that it can be. They work with organizations, brands, they work with TV shows, movies, brands, companies, all different people to make sure that we are seen in the very best light possible to help us reach full acceptance and integration with society. GLAAD is a nonprofit, so their work is entirely funded by donations. And to support them in their work, I'm going to be doing a Twitch fundraiser, a super, super long Twitch fundraiser, actually. I think it's gonna be at least six hours long. I would love to have a bunch of different trans creators or LGBT creators or even just LGBT ally creators come on and play some video games with me, hang out with you guys, and hopefully raise money for GLAD. I've never done a collaborative Twitch stream before or a fundraiser like this before, so I'm so excited and hopeful that it turns out great. I would love you guys to support with this. So to start, if you guys could give me some suggestions for who you guys wanna see on this Twitch fundraiser, just comment their names down below. We already have a great list of people who are down to do this, so this is really just additional stuff, you know? These are really just additional people. So let me know. Let's get this little eyebrow on before I forget again. <laughs> I like barely do eyebrows anymore, but good enough. For lipstick, I'm going to be using the Wednesdays Beauty once again. They send me so much stuff. I love them and their products are all so great. So I, I love showing you guys them. This is the Wednesdays Beauty Lip Snatcher in Joella Puss. So one size has a liquid lipstick and then the other side has a little lip gloss. These are great because I hate traveling with like 45 different lip products. Lip liner. This bad boy and I'm good. I have everything I need. So once the lipstick is dried down, it dries down so quick. I'm gonna go in and put some lip gloss on top. So freaking cute. Hold on, I think my dog has to go out. She's just huffing and puffing for no reason. Does anybody else's dog do that? When she has to go out, she's like Because <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't wanna bark, so she's like <laughs> Love that bitch. Okay, anyways, I'm done. I don't have my little spray out here or else I would do like a little spray on top, but just pretend I'm doing it, okay? This is just a little more translucent powder. Sometimes I just get a little freaked out. I'm like, it's just a little too harsh. I see comments on my YouTube like, this girl doesn't know how to blend. I'm like, you don't get it. 
And then to top it off, just a little blush and we're done. Oh, what I was going to say earlier, who's excited for Echoes of Wisdom? The new Zelda game coming out where you get to actually play a Zelda. Sorry, I've talked about Zelda so much in this. I'm just, I'm such a Zelda fan and I'm getting into my gamer girl era, okay? If you guys don't follow my gaming YouTube channel, it's Samantha Lux Games. Go subscribe. I'm going to start uploading a bunch of content on there all about the new Zelda game. So you have so much Samantha Lux content coming at you in this next few weeks. So get prepared. You got a new podcast coming out. You've got new videos every single week and you're going to start to get video game content as well. So follow me over on Twitch. Okay, you guys, that is pretty much it for today's video. Once again, I'm so sorry that I have been a little MIA for a minute, but we all just need some time to focus on ourselves sometimes. You know, we all need to make sure that our, our heads are good so that our house can be good so that our content can be good. <laughs> But yeah, you guys, as always, thank you so much for being patient with me and for supporting me. And a very special thank you to my patrons who make sure that I am always able to do the work that I love to do, even when I'm not able to show up for you guys, which I hate doing, okay? I won't not show up for you guys again. I'm gonna do my best. But if you guys are not yet registered to vote, I will leave a link right down below where you can do that. Please register to vote. It takes like 30 seconds, if not 15 seconds. It'll be so quick and you'll be all set to vote this election season. And yeah, other than that, I think I'm gonna go. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video, okay? Bye everyone.